Hello, this is Aditi from Raising World Children and today with us we have Swati Gupta. I am so excited to be collaborating with her and her beautiful team at Culture Dabba for a giveaway that we are hosting this Diwali season. Hi Swati. Hi Aditi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good too. It is so wonderful to have you because since I have found Culture Dabba, like I think of approximately a month ago, I have been itching to work with you guys because it is so fascinating to me what you've been doing with uh, your magazine. So tell us something about uh, Culture Dabba. First of all, before we begin, Aditi, thank you so much for uh, thinking about us and uh, including us in your uh, interests. So um, yes, go on from there. Yes. So uh, tell us about Culture Dabba and what it is about. We would like to hear it uh, about it from, of course, the founder of Culture Dabba, one of the founders. <laughs> Culture Dabba um, is a magazine geared for the kids where um, we have the kids learn about the Indian culture in a fun and exciting way. It's something that keeps them busy. It is not only a magazine, but it also has uh, a Kindle version where the kids can access it on their electronic devices now. So it's just, uh, well, I shouldn't say it's just, it's a fun way to learn more about our culture. Yes. I, I have a copy with me and uh, I, I have, we've, I've just put in my review of it because I so loved it. It, was, uh, it has stories, it has mythology, it has stories that I had forgotten from long ago because I, I am a story person and it has uh, games. My, my son loved doing the uh, craft and he was like, Mama, can I color this? Can I color him however I want? I said, yeah, you can put whatever clothes you want and do whatever. And that was so much fun. I could see my son was engaging because uh, it is so wonderful. And uh, one of the things that I'm really curious about is how did Culture Dabba get started? Uh, Culture Dabba uh, was brainchild of uh, one of our founders. He came across it and he was, uh, he came across the idea. He said, you know, how about we put together something? And then we echoed the same feelings like uh, that there is three of us. So we were like, yes, there is a need for that. There is a need because if you look at our lives over here today, we don't have as much help. We don't have grandparents who can tell the stories to kids. We don't have uh, the society around us where, you know, things are happening or the kind of literature that we need to support, uh, you know, our views about our culture and to give the kids the uh, adequate knowledge about it. So we decided, yes, why don't we come up, come up with something that would, you know, be easier, be Handy for the Indian parents, because, you know, the Indian parents, uh, they are busy over here. They run really busy lives. There are activities, there's schoolwork. So we were like, maybe a magazine that the kid would engage in by himself. Yes. You know, something that the kid would enjoy doing, something that would be uh, fun, something that the kid would want to do. So that's how Culture Dabba came about. It's wonderful. And it is so important these days. I had a conversation with Rahul, your co-founder, and we both uh, had the same sentiments on the fact that we grew up on Chanda Mama and Amar Chitra Katha. But today when we read the same stories, like I have a bunch of them at home, but when you read the same stories to our kids, we need to water down so much of it. And that's what I loved about Culture Dabba stories is that you have made sure to make it relatable to kids today. It is Absolutely. wonderful. And uh, there is such a need uh, for today's kids to uh, understand what those stories actually entail. So uh, where do you find your stories from? You know what? It's from our childhoods. It's stories that we grew up with, that we found interesting, and that we felt those are um, stories that live through the times. Those are stories that won't change. It's just that they have to be presented in a more contemporary fashion. It has to be, because today's kids, I feel are much more, I shouldn't say intelligent, but much more curious, wanting to know more. Mm -hmm. So just telling them this story is not enough. You have to relate it. Because if you want to inculcate those values in them, you want to relate those stories to the morals, to the parables that are coming out of them. So uh, that's how we go about it. We pick up the stories because those stories tell you about the Indian culture. Those stories that we grew up with, we now realize that 
yeah, they have so much more meaning. They are fun, yes. And I'm sure kids anywhere would love to, you know, know more about it. Not only just, I'd say, Indian kids, but their friends around here who might be from different ethnicities, you know, not necessarily Indians. That's wonderful. Um, I have so many of my friends who are curious to know about, oh, what is Diwali and what is uh, Rakhi and, you know, these things. Because the only festival that most people talk about a lot is Diwali, whereas Indian culture has so many different festivals. Absolutely. And it's so wonderful that you guys pick up one festival, like a prop, we have a festival every week, I think, but <laughs> you pick up a festival and then you talk about it and you talk about what's celebrated and, and the origin. And uh, it is uh, what fascinated me more is the puzzles and the games that you have inside the magazine. So those are really interesting, especially uh, the crossword puzzle, you know, it is so tricky to get those even like for me. And, but it's so interesting to do it with your kids. And this is something that you can really bring the family together. That's true. And they are stimulating. You know, they're stimulating to the kids. They are not just your run of the mill boring activities. Those are kids that, uh, those are activities that would stimulate, have them thinking, have them, you know, engaged in it. They do work on the developmental aspects also, you know, if the kid is at this age, you know, or around the range, the activities cover kids, you know, from the different age ranges that we focus on. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Um, so, what age do you? suggest the books should be for you know from four to i'd say eight or nine but i've had kids who are like 12 and 13 who thoroughly enjoyed it they were like oh we didn't know those you know part of the coloring and the puzzles were interesting yeah. too to them but they enjoyed the stories i can imagine i myself uh, was a voracious reader as a child and i would have loved to get my hands on this book when i was younger <laughs> You know what, as adults, we enjoy it too, frankly speaking, you know, and I've had a few friends of mine that they enjoy too, especially Auntie Bindi's riddles and, you know, they were, they're fun too. My son is going around telling his friends the jokes. He's like, oh, you know this, and then they, they, he comes home and he tells us the same joke and he laughs as if we don't know what the joke was. Okay. That's true. I mean, that's what I've heard from a couple of friends, uh, you know, whose uh, kids are into these books and they're like, oh, they come up with these cute riddles and, you know, some of them, even I'm stumped. She's like, I didn't know what the answer would be. So it was, it's, it's nice to hear that from parents, you know. Yes. So uh, what, what is the need that you think that Culture Dabba fulfills uh, in, in today's society? You know, uh, let's talk about our culture, you know. Yes, times are changing. Uh, people are really busy. But there is something, you know, at, at a certain point in our lives, we need to connect to our roots. Say whatever. If you're raised in India, it's a little bit different. But... Uh, you know, you are a little more grounded just because you see those things happening around you. They are right there. But when you're raising a family where the social uh, structure is not available, where the parents are not there, you want your kids to have those roots. You want your kids to be appreciative of their culture, to see the good in it. They are not just rituals or they are not just traditions. There is some history to it. And mm. how does it all come together? There's a little science behind it. It's just mm. not all fantasy and fiction, you know. So that's, that's how we see Culture Dabba moving forward. It's basically the need to connect our future generations to their roots so they can appreciate it more they learn the values of it you know and at the same time it's not a boring thing that the parents are drilling into them oh this is how it is in our culture this is how it is it's something that the kid would want to learn more about so it's just starting them it's just kindling that interest through these fun stories and activities so then they start wanting to learn more about it that's wonderful. Thank you so much for this. We, uh, there is definitely a need for that. Welcome. Uh, so what do you hope for Culture Dabba going forward? Like what else is uh, in the works? You know, right now, our next festival, you know, coming up would be Christmas. Wonderful. Christmas is such, uh, you know, a global festival. You know, it's something that's celebrated all, about, all over the world. But each part of the world has its nuance, has a different kind of celebration. 
and the way Christmas was celebrated in India was different too. Growing up with Christian friends, you participated in their celebration. So you kind of want your kids to be aware about, you know, how it was celebrated back there, you know. I'm sure Pia, it's celebrated differently all over the world. You know, US is different from how it would be in UK. So we are trying to put it all together. So that would be our next goal. Our goal as such is just bringing, highlighting the festivals and showcasing the celebrations to the kids. So they know, because many a times here, we are not able to do the 100% of the festival, right? We, whatever time we have for, we will cover that. But then when you cover, you know, you see how it is celebrated in different places, uh, you are just more interested in them. You know, you want to keep up with the celebration. It's just fun. It's celebrating life, basically. Definitely. And it is so wonderful that you're celebrating Christmas, which is even though uh, you're addressing the fact that even though it is not Indian, there are Indians who celebrate it. You know, Absolutely. because a lot of people think, oh, Christmas is like a U.S. thing or is, it's like um, it's for, you know, people who are Christians who are, you know, from a certain part of the world. Whereas uh, that is not the case. You know, as, as a child, I myself uh, have celebrated Christmas as lavishly. And it is a big part of my household today because I celebrated it from my childhood because my neighbors were Goans. And they were born Christians, and that had such a big influence on my life. So when Christmas comes around, I'm I'm as happy as when I am for Diwali. So that's exactly. that's, that's how fun. we grew up with. And yeah. frankly speaking, you look at India; it's not yes, traditional culture, historical culture is there, but yes. at the same time, what we grew up with, and over the years, yes. it's not just the Hindu culture or the Hindu traditions, but mm -hmm. The Christians, the Muslims, the Jews, they all are interwoven in the fabric yes. of the Indian culture. So it would be nice to highlight it to the kids that, okay, yes, you know, there are these traditions which are, you know, years, thousands of years been there, but there are other, how India amalgamated all the different influences. So that's something that we would like to highlight and bring to the kids. That's wonderful. And uh, Culture Dubai is such a confluence of different people from around the world. I mean, uh, for you guys, I mean, you guys have an office, uh, you guys started in Naperville. And now you are, uh, I mean, one of your co-founders is in Minneapolis and you have your team is in Delhi and Cal you have a couple of people from Calcutta. And it's, it's wonderful to hear when you talk about the, it is not just the fact that you guys are working together, you guys are working to together towards a goal for the future generation, which is awesome. So thank you so much for that. Oh, you're very welcome. It's a pleasure. We really enjoy doing this. This is, uh, this is our hobby. You yes. know how to say, and not only just hobby, it's now the goal in our life to, you know, yes. showcase this, do yes. it. It's, it's helping the kids, you know, it is helping them get a better perspective on who they are, what their identity is, and what it means to be from a certain culture, what it means to be of Indian origin, you know? So they know it's not just a mystery or something, you know how sometimes yes. the Western world puts it. So there's more to it. There's uh, more to being an Indian, you know? Yes. And that echoes around the world these days because like we talk at Raising World Children that nowadays kids are not just belonging to any one culture. They belong to every single culture that they are uh, affected by or, you know, are influenced by. And uh, that is what it is all about to have your children understand who they are better so that they are more accepting about what is around them because they are confident in who they are themselves. Absolutely. Yes, that's that's true. Thank you so much, Swati. Uh, is there any way that uh, you would like uh, everyone listening to connect with you? Um, yes, if they have any questions, we have uh, our Facebook page where if they have any questions, they can message us directly. You know, we will be glad to answer whatever uh, questions or any kind of information that they need. Thank you. And I will put the link to that in the uh, description, of course. Thank you so much for joining us, Swati. You are very welcome. It's my pleasure. I'm glad I got to speak to you, Aditi. Thanks and for putting this together. Oh, definitely. I hope that we can keep collaborating and uh, we find more wonderful things to uh, do for the world and for the children. Uh, to everyone listening, I wish you a wonderfully positive day. I hope you find 
a way to connect with your kids and of course culture dabba is a great way to introduce your kids to indian culture or to have them relate to indian culture even better thank you so much oh you're very welcome thank you so much and you have a wonderful day too